Hello my friends and welcome to the metal shop. It's winter here in the metal shop so we are back inside working on some guitars. What we're looking at here is a circa 1983 PV Mystic. These were only manufactured for a couple three years by PV. Um, there were three models in the series. I can't remember what the other two were. A Razor, a Mystic, and there's probably some other one. Pretty weird. Um, Two-piece maple neck, 23 frets, which is kind of unusual. Um, really unique um, pickups, those blade pickups, proprietary PV pickups, where uh, so that's volume, volume, master tone, and the three-way switch. The volume, when you turn up past seven, the coil, the pickup's coil is split to a single coil, and down below seven, it's a, a humbucker, pretty powerful uh, humbucker. So you can get a lot of sounds, a lot of different sounds from these guitars. And actually, uh, Scott Grove does a really nice uh, kind of review and plays a PV Mystic, and it kind of um, it pains me to have to give that guy credit because he's really an arrogant ass, you know, know-it-all blowhard. But he's a great player. I give him props for that. Pretty knowledgeable, you know, in most aspects about guitars and guitar playing. But uh, you know, his way or the highway, take it or leave it. So anyway, but his video is really excellent for a nice demonstration on the Mystic. And so around 1986, so maybe these were manufactured a little later than that. I'm not sure. 1986, uh, we had a surprise assembly. Uh, when I was in high school, I don't remember if I was a freshman or sophomore freshman, I think, so you can figure out my age. Ha ha! Uh, we had a surprise assembly, and it was one of these, I want to call them a Christian, Christian rock band uh, came to school. And I'm sure that a lot of you guys remember them. They always had these cool names. The one that came to my school was Free Fair. And they also had Freedom Jam and probably a couple other different uh, bands with different free names they were a florida based company and what they would do is they would um they'd come to your school and put on assembly they'd play a couple of songs they were a cover band they did you know modern um songs covers and they sometimes they had some originals and so they do an assembly for like an hour and then they had a pay concert that night and you know they're spreading the message you know you know the golden rule this and that but it was it was pretty heavy-handed um, Christian, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior type of stuff. Uh, but I remember and the concert was excellent. They were a great cover band. I remember them playing Jump by Van Halen. I remember them playing, you know, Come On, Feel the Noise by Quiet Riot. Just, you know, some maybe some Scorpions, you know, just some hits of the day. And they were they were really good. They were spot on. You know, they had a keyboard player, guitar, bass, drums. And anyway, the guitar player for Free Fair was a guy named Joel. That's all I know. And he had this identical guitar. It's not this one, but I recreated this one just based on that memory. He had a black PV Mystic, and his had been upgraded with a Floyd Rose uh, locking trim. I did the upgrade on this one myself. And he may have changed the pickups. I honestly don't remember. I don't have any pictures or anything like that. So this inspired me to... I got I had one of my own, Hardtail, uh, Ugly Gold. I will insert a photo here um, of me as a young lad playing my gold uh, PV Mystic. So anyway, this is what inspired me to get the guitar. And once I had this one, I bought another one. I found another one really cheap. And that is what this video is about, The uh, my second PV Mystic. And I'm going to give us a brief pause and we will go over to the workbench and talk about that guitar. All right. So this is the second PV Mystic that I found online really cheap. I think I only paid, it was less than $300 shipped to my door. Uh, it was an ugly baby blue color and I painted it myself. Uh, this is like an automotive metallic gray and I cleared it and I buffed it and it came out what you would expect for a homemade paint job. I mean, I can see some nasty uh, orange peel here. There's a run in the flake. The camera's definitely not going to pick it up. I'll try and get you guys some close-ups. Some run in the flake right here. Um, 
it didn't come out that great, honestly, the paint job. And uh, I converted this guitar to Floyd Rose as well, but what I did to this one was, there you can see that I put a locking clamp on there. It actually came out really nice, and the string retainer there. And there's the, the Floyd, but this guitar was a hardtail. So what I did was, I actually cut, I, you know, I removed the, uh, the spring block from the Floyd and I had a, actually had an automotive machinist grind a large oval hole in the bottom of the base plate and the string, this is actually a hardtail and then this is where the holes were that attached to the spring plate. I had, I've got some large screws, actually sorry, I used some screws, some of the holes for the adjustments for the saddles. I got three large screws holding this down to the guitar and it retains the Telecaster style grommets there in the back. I'm sorry, the light is not really very good or I'm there. You can see the grommets and these are gold. I swapped them out for gold, but it retains the uh, Telecaster style grommets here in the back. So this is a hardtail, a Floyd Rose fine tuning hardtail bridge. Pretty neat. It works great. Screwed down solid to the guitar and what have you so um i really didn't need two of them this you know i kind of just frankenstein this thing up fixed it up sold it along on ebay to a guy nick g from pennsylvania and i won't give any more information about him and quite honestly i'm going to try really hard for the remainder of this video to not curse but this guy is a piece of human excrement and a not a knowledgeable guitar player, obviously some kind of novice kid who just does not have a clue about life, the way things work, about guitars, about anything. And I will get into that. So I will insert the pictures directly from the auction. And I will be completely honest and forthright in this little story here of how the sale went down. So I'll insert the pictures. And here is the description exactly as I wrote it. I printed it out and I'm going to read this verbatim. Okay, so bear with me. Cool 1980s PV Mystic. These are getting harder and harder to find, especially 
in near mint I'm mean, sorry near original condition this one has been modified but it retains the best PV features from back in the day 23 question mark fret maple neck cast P PV knobs I've seen these knobs selling for $35 to $50 a piece crazy the original PV pickups are intact these feature cool and innovative coil switching the controls are master volume tone tone when you turn the tone knob past seven it splits the pickup to single coil below seven it is a powerful humbucker you can literally play from clean country tones to blistering metal with this guitar check out Scott Grove's review and demonstration of his PV mystic on YouTube and I mentioned that earlier in the video this guitar has its hardware swapped out for gold the original knobs and toggle have just been painted they could easily be brought back to the original chrome if you wanted the best feature on this guitar is the Floyd Rose hardtail bridge. This is the best of both worlds. You get the tuning stability of a double locking bridge with a locking nut and a fine tuning hardtail bridge. The strings still mount through the body with Telecaster style grommets. This is a one off custom made Floyd Rose hardtail and it works great. A locking clamp and string retainer have been professionally added to the neck. The original PV hardtail bridge will be included, though I recommend using it for a paperweight on your desk. Sorry, no case, but the guitar will be professionally packed and arrive in perfect condition. These guitars are built like tanks anyway. This guitar plays and sounds great. You will not be disappointed. Tons of meat left on the extra jumbo frets as well. Awesome turbo sticker included at no extra charge. Free shipping with buy it now only. And then parentheses neck will be removed from guitar for shipping purposes. Okay, so that was my original description when I sold the guitar. Now clearly... I guess I had it wrong when I gave you guys the original how it works. It's master volume, uh, tone, tone. And each one of the tones changes this coil split. Anyway, it doesn't need it here nor there. So that's how I sold it. Now, I'm going to say one thing that I was remiss in um, that I did not mention in the ad that I should have was the homemade paint job. But I did include, I think there were 10 high definition quality close up picks. And after this Nick G loser a-hole hit by it now on the guitar then of course after he committed to buy the questions start flowing and do you want to guess what his first question was what about the finish on the guitar from the picks I, I could see some flaws how is the finish how is the finish on the guitar and I told him and I tell him I said it's a homemade rattle can job it came out reasonably well it's nice I told him you know I sprayed it I, I buffed it you know it's not perfect it is what it is he obviously noticed from the pictures didn't ask during the auction asked after the fact great so but that's you know i will admit i should have said in the auction that i this was a home you know a homemade paint job but what i did mention in the auction very clearly was the bridge and i read it to you hard tail fine tuning bridge not a tremolo hard tail a fixed bridge okay the knobs now i painted these knobs gold with a paint pen that's it and i say that in the auction the same with the three-way it's not great it's hand done i say that you know they've just they've simply been painted if you wanted to get them with a little paint thinner whatever you could go back to the original finish i state that in the auction so now you can guess so he gets the guitar he's unsatisfied with it dissatisfied with it so and what are his main complaints Number one, and this kills me, this just kills me. His first complaints were, the tremolo doesn't even work. And I tell him, you know, we're going for a little back and forth dialogue. guy. He said, it's not a tremolo guitar. It is a hardtail guitar, as stated in the auction. The knobs have just been cheaply painted. And I'm like, as stated in the auction. And he said, well, it, the strings are too far off the neck. The action isn't playable. And as stated in the auction, I removed the neck from the guitar for shipping. Anybody with even playing for a day, a week, should know as a guitar player that if the neck and the guitar are separated and shipped halfway across the country, it is going to need a setup. It is not arriving in the box ready to play. This isn't, it's not as simple as, oh, I'll just bolt the neck on and right out of the box it's going to be ready to play. And I tell him this. I said, it's going to need a setup. You know, he says the pickups are buzzy. And I explained to him, I said, those are single coils and they split to a humbucker. I said, when the, the tone knobs are up over seven, they're single coils. Single coils are buzzy. They pick up lights from 
you know, from your overhead lights, they pick up that very famous 60 cycle hum, you know, and this just kills me. Now, I, I want to read this, what, uh, what the guy actually wrote, Nick G, this loser, wrote, and I'll tell you why I'm so irritated with him. Here's what he said, because he, oh, of course, so I offered him a partial refund, because I've been selling for, you know, 20 years on eBay, and I've never had a single issue. I have 100% perfect feedback so i offer him a partial refund i offer him 50 dollars back because he's not satisfied with the guitar no he wants a full refund and this is what he uses and he files a grievance with uh with ebay this guitar came to my house and was in very poor condition the guitar does not play because the bridge of the guitar that holds the string is loose lie and many of the parts were installed incorrectly lie the bridge is not screwed in, lie, three huge screws hold the bridge in place, but rather glued on, that's a lie, and is coming loose, another lie, and does not allow the guitar to stay in tune. Also, the bottom half of the bridge is missing and does not bend pitch, tremolo. That's because it's a hardtail, a fixed bridge, as stated in the auction. Any idiot would know that. The guitar is spray painted in nowhere near original condition. That I will agree with. It's not, in, it's in modified condition, and that's, what did I state in the first thing? Uh... What did I say? This one has been modified, but it retains the best PV features. First line in the friggin' auction. The piece of cardboard used while spray painting the guitar was included in packaging to avoid damage. And that, it doesn't matter. That's a lie. It was a piece of Ember Glow, a cardboard that had Ember Glow overspray on it from a car project that I did. It wasn't, it was just something I used in packing. It's irrelevant. You know, these, he's just including these extraneous facts to try and, you know, kind of make his point. Stupid. The strings are too high off the fretboard for me to play, and some of the hardware has been painted by a brush with cheap paint. True, as stated in the auction. Moron. The locking nut is crooked. Lie. And the guitar is making a buzzing sound while plugged in. Again, probably true when the single coils were in, engaged. It always, it, this guitar worked perfectly fine. I tested it. I played it. It was one of my guitars. It was a concert functioning guitar none of the parts except the pickups are original oh so, i'm sorry everything on this guitar is original except for the bridge and i added the locking clamp every other thing original to the guitar i'm very dissatisfied with this item and would like a refund please and the guitar is not worth anywhere near 350 so that was 350 shipped so great I, shipping was you know about 50 dollars. i sold this guitar for 300 dollars. you know what do you expect from uh, this guitar was a a very inexpensive cheaply made guitar when it was brand new now 30 years later it's still a very cheap inexpensive guitar now when he's in and now so he sent it back and it did he did send it back on his dime eBay did force me to give him a full refund of course big shock there um, but he shipped it back completely assembled on his dime oh and the MF -er gave me negative feedback can maybe someone can explain in the comments how that works how can you file a grievance, force me to give you a 100% refund, take it back, and that I still got negative feedback out of the deal, my first negative feedback ever. That's Maybe that's why I'm on such a tear and such a rant here. Anyway, he ships the whole thing back to me in this condition, just like it is here, it hasn't been touched. And what do I find is the neck is, now this, and I, t and I told him this too, I said this neck has a micro tilt adjustment not sure if you can see that. You guys know how that works. You slip an Allen wrench in here. It has a little platform that raises and lowers to, to, you know, to raise and lower the action of the guitar. So this thing is completely, completely bottomed out. But the neck and the camera won't pick it up. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and get it here without smashing the guitar. And see if you guys can see that. It's not bolted. It's not. There's a huge gap in here. It's not even properly affixed to the guitar itself to the body that's why the action is so bad anyway sorry here we'll flip the switch rant off so that's my saga on the pv mystic i'm so done with this guitar i'm gonna fix the neck give this thing the setup that it needs and make it playable again and i'm just giving it to a friend of mine that has his own huge man town like a bar set up and bands can play there and everything else and i'm just giving it to him to hang on the wall so i'd love to hear any of you guys's horrible horror ebay experiences with stuff like this i mean I, I, this it just blows my mind you know how people can just just blatantly lie 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 force a full refund out of you know out of a seller 
an honest seller with you know 20 years of positive feedback and then give me negative feedback because a hardtail guitar the tremolo doesn't function because the knobs are cheaply painted as i stated in the auction it's been modified as i stated in the auction and blah 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 so anyway here it is pv mystic so thanks for thanks for watching thanks for bearing bearing with me if you if you stuck it through this this whole tirade about uh, the pv mystic and my ebay sales saga as always i appreciate uh, your support and your views and i try and give you interesting content i hope i hope you found this this little storytelling session entertaining i hope uh, you give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs down tell me why if you're new to the channel please uh, consider subscribing give me a share if you know if you got your own pv story your own ebay horror story share it with uh, one of your friends all right my friends thanks for watching bye bye